Hi guys, it's Patricia, your independent Sensi Consultant from Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. Today I'm going to bring to you a combined two-part Sensi haul, but both of them are very small. But I wanted to bring this to you because there's a couple of items in here that kind of provide great talking points about things to remember to consider when buying Sensi. So, let's go over the first haul. We have a six-pack of bars. Most of these are for a customer, um, and one of them is for me. I have a wink and a smile. This is the Bring Back My Bar scent that has florals and it has, I think, daffodils, tulips, and plummy lemonade. I just wanted a backup of this uh, to put in my Scentsy closet. We have two vanilla bean buttercreams. She actually got a six pack, but I already had a buttercream, vanilla buttercream set aside for her, so that's why I grabbed a wink and a smile for me. This one is very nice. It's a top seller. It's in the bakery category. It's a former scent of the month, so sometimes scent of the month do make it into the catalog and they become bestsellers. And it's obviously a vanilla based scent with buttercream and has sugar cane and vanilla. She also picked up three by the seas. So by the seas, this has been around for a while. It's in the fresh category. It's like dewy ocean seaside grass type scent description. It's a little bit biting, it's sharp, it's very fresh, very long lasting. You will definitely get good value out of By the Sea. I highly recommend that one if you're a fresh scent lover. I picked up a Winterberry Apple Tea scent soak for myself. It's all beat up, but my son loves taking winter um, Scentsy Soak baths. And we are down to our last bag. I like to have one backup. And I actually purchased that before the flash sale, before the BOGO. Sometimes when stuff like that happens as a customer, you're like, oh. You're a little bit annoyed because I just bought that at regular price. Last from that haul, we have two replacement dishes. So this is one thing I wanted to talk to you guys about. So I have a customer that ordered a really old warmer from Kijiji or something like that marketplace. She got the warmer. Immediately, her son broke the dish. So she was in a panic. I want to use this warmer. So we tried. I got her to come over and I tried a few of the warmers from my various dishes and the one that closely matched or was workable was Beacon or also the one from Jack, Jack the warmer. So I'm going to be giving the Beacon dish to her and I wanted to order a small glass dish as a replacement for me and I ordered the wrong dish. I wanted to order a small standard glass dish and I ordered a small curved glass dish. The benefit of having a lot of warmers, if you're a Scentsy addict, is you will find use for something. So this actually works really well over the Lucent warmer. So the Lucent warmer is a lampshade warmer, which has an inset of a tiny cup-like dish in the warmer. And I thought, let me try this, take out the cup, put this on the top. It will actually kind of block a lot of the heat from being lost because that, that warmer is very open. So I just want to see if it's going to perform differently. And I'm just going to try this on other different warmers to see if it's good as an emergency backup. So I will find a use for that. So that is the small medium dish. So point number one is be careful when you're ordering. Don't rush. <laughs> Order carefully and make sure you get the right one. Another thing to mention is if you have a dish that you love, it's a small investment, go to the section of the site that says dishes and accessories, something to that effect in the warmer section, and pick up a warmer dish because once those warmer dishes are sold out for your favorite warmer, you will have a hard time finding a backup. So, All right, this is another order. This one actually came first, but I'll just do it last. It has the whiff box. So I don't normally order a lot of whiff boxes, but I actually picked up the whiff box in an effort to smell Jade and Jasmine, only to find out Jade and Jasmine little sample cup is not in the whiff box, but I didn't know that at the time. So a couple other items I added to the order was a bar of Fearless by Nature. This one is a licensed product, so it's a little bit more costly, but this is really nice. It's got like some herbalness. I do really like the scent. It's got some fresh greenery, a little bit of herbaceousness with some kind of like, like earthy florals. I will put the scent notes below. So that is Fearless by Nature, and I think I might sneak this in as a Tester Tuesday voting option. So. I know it's not a tester, but they're my videos. I can make up the rules. So I picked up a six pack of scent circles and I picked up all six in Arctic Kiss. I definitely want to try these. I want to put these in my closet downstairs in my laundry room to kind of freshen that closet up. And I'm just kind of interested to see how long it will last and also maybe use one in my car because a lot of the scent of the month 
um, scent circles. Once they're gone, they're gone. If that scent doesn't make it into the catalog, you will not see it back. So just wanted to pick up some of those to be safe. So here we have the Whiff Box. I'm going to go through this quickly because I'm sure if you're a Whiff Box fan, you've seen it. So this is a smaller box. There's kind of like a big box and a small box. This is a smaller box. This is how it came, exactly like this. Tissue off to the side. So I will repurpose that tissue. Um, a beat up air thing. No uh, theme sheet. Now, to be honest, when I watch videos, I kind of skip over the theme sheet because I find that part kind of boring. But it does kind of present a nice, pretty package to a, a customer. I don't consider myself a normal customer because I'm a sensi addict and I don't need all that fancy stuff. But if I was a regular customer, I would want to see that. And yeah, so we have one, two, three, four items plus a sample. So let's do the sample first. In Canada, a whiff box is $40. In the U.S., it's $30. And contents can vary as items sell out. So you're, if you purchase a whiff box later in the month, sometimes it'll be slightly different than earlier in the month. But we have a sample of clothesline laundry liquid. I'm doing laundry right now, so I might bring that downstairs. Or sometimes I put things like this aside for my local customers to give to them to try. We have a winterberry apple tea scentsy scrub. I find with these scentsy scrubs, what you need to do is, obviously you need to stir them. So you could just use your finger and stir, but you really gotta get to the bottom and really stir and stir and kind of stir and stir. And then once you've got it all stirred, it works really well. It doesn't lather and get to a soapy consistently, consistently consistency, <laughs> like some sugar scrubs, but it does exfoliate, it does really moisturize. So what I like to do is if I'm, I've got really messed up hands, I like to use sugar scrubs on my hands, but then I try, to carefully not touch my hands in the shower because if they're so oily, I'm afraid it's gonna weigh down my hair. Speaking of hair, I have like shoveling hair today, so <laughs> we had a bit of snow yesterday, so. All right, so the two Scentsy scent bars that we have, which are full-size products, are Arctic Kiss, which I love, scent of the month for December. Oh, you gotta pick this up and try it, and it's a very great performer. About a medium in intensity, but very, very, very long-lasting. Lovely. And we have Snowberry. And Snowberry is in our current catalog in the fall and winter section. And I don't know about you guys, but does this remind you of like science class, like an amoeba? <laughs> That's what I always think of. Yeah, this is a very different scent. It's got some mintiness, it's got some fruitiness. It's got cinnamon, but I've only picked that up once in warming. I feel like I can kind of smell it here, and I feel like I can kind of smell like the gentlest of tree notes, which I normally have never noticed before. Sometimes I wonder when they pour Scentsy bars if, if like, you know, you're stirring the pot of oils, and what if it's like chilly and certain things settle to the bottom, so the bars that get poured towards the bottom of the barrel smell slightly different than the bottom, the top of the barrel ones. I don't know. <laughs> and last but not least, we have the Buddy Clip. So the buddy clip is something that I'm going to give to my youngest. I think he's really gonna like this. It's called Nick the Gnome. And here he is, <laughs> feet first. It's like a baby, pull him out. I'm not sure why they put this tissue paper. I'm just gonna throw that out. And he, he comes a little beat up, like disheveled, but he's very cute. He has no eyeballs, so I don't know how he's gonna see. But there's a little clip, you can clip it on the back of your book bag, you can put it on a diaper bag, you can somehow gear it up on a stroller so that a baby could look at it. That would be really attractive with the stripes and the colors. And it's softly scented in Very Merry Cranberry. So normally I don't pick up a lot of whiff boxes, but I was hoping to get the scent of the month sample cup. There is no scent of the month sample cut cup in this with box. So I guess a take home message with the, for this would be don't always assume things. Things aren't always as you think they're going to be. Um, I did end up getting the whole scent of the month kit. Not really liking the scent so I wish I kind of would have been able to get a, a smell first and then I would have held off on buying the scent of the month kit until I found out what the scent was like. But you know some things don't work out and some things do work out. You just got to roll with the punches. So there you have it, a quick haul video. Thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. I hope you guys have a great day in your neck of the woods. If you picked up the Whiff Box, let me know what you thought of it, and I will see you guys in the next video.